Hello and good evening and welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry that I haven't been um, doing any recordings recently. I know it's been about 20 or 22 days or something like that. I think it's been since the last video. Uh, but I've been busy at work uh, getting bits and pieces done. But I also, uh, my grandma passed away a week ago today. So. Uh, We've been going through that funerals on the second of November, so uh, yeah, so we've been busy with bits and pieces, obviously sorting the house out and my grandma's house, obviously, and that and bits and pieces. So uh, yeah, no, um, yeah, it's been going through bits and pieces, going through life as you do. Uh, but this video really is sort of a catch up, say hello, and really just to show you what's. Uh, sorry about getting my hand in the way. Uh, basically, getting off. Um, what I've been doing, uh, I've got some new models today, uh, I don't know if you see on my Instagram account, um, I've got the uh, Ford uh, TW10 from Britons, and I've also got the Buck Rake and uh, Yard Scraper, but I've been having a few issues with the um, Yard Scraper at the moment, the uh, side panels the side like bits are a bit stiff so I've sprayed some WD-40 but they don't seem to turn together one turns and the other one stays in position and basically you know I think I've just got a dodgy one from out of the uh, off the production line but hey ho um, I'll have a look at that and try and sort that out as and when um, so that will obviously be in the review um, I'm going to be doing the reviews over the next week or so because um, obviously I'm going to have a little look at these and go through. Uh, but the TW10's main is going to have the uh, Keenan Diet Feeder on it. And the other models that I've got as well today is the Coon uh, VB2160 baler with uh, one, gray, one grass bale on it or one hay bale whatever you want to call it, grass or hay bale and also the Universal Hobbies uh, 6290 finally um, got finally been able to get that I was trying to get it and then it went out of stock so I had to wait for it to get back in stock again this second time I got one the first time and there was loads of bits broken on it so I had to send it back to Scale Farm but they've been brilliant um, as per usual, I've got no complaints with Scale Farm. They're excellent like, scale model people to get the stuff off of, like I said to you before. Um, so there will be reviews done on these as, a, as through the week. Uh, the first ones I'm going to do uh, will more likely be the Buck Rake and the um, Yard Scraper. Uh, on the Buck, uh, so yeah, anyway, I ain't going to go any more than that. That's just showing you what I've got today. Uh, and basically for me, it's just sort of a hello, this is only going to be a quick one, um, I have done some other videos, but this phone, my Samsung S3, is just about had it, hence the reason why I am actually filming you this way, because I can't film you with, I'm filming you with the fa forward facing camera, I can't film anything with the other phone, because, I don't know if you guys remember me saying ages ago, um, about the flash on my um, other side camera, uh, I dropped my phone a few couple of times, and obviously there's a blue line. Well, that now goes all the way across the screen, and also it doesn't look like it when I'm filming it, but when I upload it, the screen is just totally. It's like all um, it flickers. The screen, fl the, the shot flickers, so it's like. Oh, it's a strange thing, so at this moment in time I'm just going to be doing f videos like this. Um, as you can see, I've also got some facial hair, a bit bigger facial hair. Um, I've been out of the shower, so it's all sort of just combed down at the moment, but normally I do have it, so it's sort of all waxed and uh, pinked up. And also my goat is uh, into a point as well, but I've got a little bit here that I just need to have a little cut and trim up with. Um, so yeah, uh, the other thing I also got guys, I've got the new Brushwoods um, 
brochure or catalogue, whatever you want to call it. And uh, they also start, I don't know if you guys have seen, or I imagine you have, but um, they've got a section in here called Pro Builds now, um, which uh, are like the um, jigsaw, uh, I don't know if you want to call them jigsaws, but they're like model buildings, there's this model building, uh, model buildings and there's silage clamp and you just build, like it comes in parts I think. And then you just build it back together again, and you just build them up. And they've also got um, extensions that you can go together. Uh, so you've got like bits of each of the buildings, I think, apart from the silage clamp. And you also got uh, like roof panels, I think they are. And you've also got like sides panels, sheeting, uh, doors, like small and large doors. You've got. Um, Boards that you can have as a load. They do cubicles, cattle cubicles, and you also got the super glue and bits and pieces. Um, so um, I'm going to be looking at getting the silage clamp. I don't know if I'm going to get any of the buildings because I just really haven't got the room. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you over in that corner. I don't know if you can see over in there, but there's my models. There's my buildings I had before. Um, and as you can see, they're absolutely trashed. So, I don't know what I'm going to be doing at this moment in time. I've said to you before, um, at the moment I've got a few of the models out just on top of here. Um, I So, they're just there at the moment. Sorry about the dogs barking. There's someone going down the road with a suitcase. Uh, Milo, shut up. Uh, so... Yeah, I did a review of the Massey Fergus on the CQ Massey Ferguson uh, Combine Harvester, uh, but as you must be aware, it hasn't been uploaded. I tried to do it, but because of the state of my camera, when I tried uploading it and processing it onto YouTube, it just wouldn't happen. It'd get about 45% in, uh, and then sometimes, and then it would stop, and then sometimes it would go in, upload, and then. When, 100% and then as it was processing it, it'd get to like 35% processing and then it would just stop uh, and, count, and then it would just keep coming up with cancel, upload, upload, cancelled and shit like that. So at this moment in time, I've tried using that other little camera um, but my PC that we've got and the laptop that we've got is just not compatible enough, it's just not good enough. So. At this moment in time, yeah, it's just um, sort of play it by here, guys. Sorry, I do apologise, but this is the best that I can do. Um, we're just going to have to sort of go through the motions. Obviously, hopefully, you get this one now. I'm going to do it with the camera facing this way. Hopefully, uh, we'll get something now a video of some description. Um, it might not be as good as what I normally do. Obviously, stop motions. I've wanted to do a stop motion. The reason why I've had the buildings and bits and pieces out, I've wanted to do stop motion or combine in with the tractor. And now I've got the baler. I might try and do something on the table here, but I can't promise nothing. Unfortunately, I'd like to say I have. That's the reason I have said before I've not done it. So I don't want to be keep doing it because you guys are going to think I'm bullshitting you or something all the time, which I don't like doing. Or you know, I'm not that per not that type of person. So. Um, just have to go through with uh, what we've got so as I say through the week when I get in of an evening I shall do like a 10 minute or 50 depend on what they're like depend on how good they are what they're like what they're doing there was a few little issues that I've picked up on already um, that I'm gonna like I say bring in put into the review but like I say it might be a 10 15 minute review on each of them uh, how much they are where I've got them as you must really know it's from scale model uh, but I shall just, you know, tell you as I normally do anyway. And um, yeah, so uh, have a look on scalefarm. Uh, dot com. Plus, that's where I got my models from. They have still got a sale and clearance on. There is up to fifty percent off of all models, all the ranges, all scale sizes, and everything. So I do have a look on there. And hopefully, guys, I'll catch up with you soon. So um, I might, did I say, this week get this done. Next week, the second November, I say it's the funeral, my grandma's funeral. So I should imagine it'll be a bit quiet again then. But um, 
I shall try, I might as well try, I see how I see how it goes, if I can set my camera up in front of the TV like this way round, uh, I might do a sort of 15-20 minute uh, farming simulator 15 video for you, because I've been playing on it now, I've done 140, it's about 143 hours that I've done on it so far now, and I've done quite a bit, I've got a few extra fields and that done now, and I've had quite a few um, uh, sort of great demands, bits and pieces, so uh, yeah, so this is just to say hello guys, I'm back, uh, sorry it's been so long, uh, oh thank you for the new subscribers as well now, I'm up to 131 subscribers as well now, thanks again guys, uh, don't forget to keep thumbing up the old, you know, give us a like and any comments, you know, down below, sort of leave us a comment as well, very much appreciated. Uh, like I say, I'm on Instagram as well, 3CX Sightmaster is my um, like name on there. I've got to do a shout out as well while I think about it, talking about Instagram, uh, for a guy who's on there, Mark, Jack, Mark, Mark Jacko, 123 I think his name, I think the name is, sorry if I got it wrong mate, I do apologise, but... Let's have a look on there. I'm sure it's Mark Jacko, one two three. Yeah, Mark Jacko, one two three. I'm sure it is. I apologise now, mate, if it's wrong. If it's wrong, and I have a look later on when I do the buck rake and uh, the yard scraper review tomorrow. If it's wrong, I shall do it properly. So there's a shout out to that. And if any of you other guys, just leave us a comment if you guys want shout outs for your. Um, Instagrams or for your channels, then obviously I do. Anyway, any new subscribers, I do have a subscribe. Uh, I do have a subscriber shout out every now and again. It's not all the time, but when I do get sort of like a few subscribers come on all of a sudden, I do do a subscriber shout out. So uh, these new ones that I've got here, I'm just waiting to get to a certain number. I ain't going to say it because obviously I ain't going to jinx it. But once it gets to a certain number, I um, I will do another one, so hopefully guys you start getting the word out and uh, catch up with you soon. So cheers, thanks and I shall bid you farewell. Don't forget to like up, give us a thumbs up for a like and a comment down below and I'm going to say bye bye again. Bye bye.